G'day one and all and welcome to part 4 of my tutorial series for new users uh, for FlashPrint. Today's video is going to be on IDEX printing and nothing but IDEX printing. So we will look slightly into the slicer settings regarding that and uh, and just basically how to, how to use the functions that you'll only find on those machines. So those functions will be just your standard standard printing obviously because it you know, it can, it can do that. It doesn't have to use both print heads. Uh, the other mode is, other modes I should say, is a duplicate and mirror mode. And although they sound very, very similar, it all it does is change the orientation of a, of a model. But anyway, we'll, it's easier to show you than, than actually just explain it. So the first things first is obviously make sure that your printer is selected. I'm going to use, if I can get my mouse there, one of the machines that I personally have, which is a Creator Free Pro. Uh, all right. So currently when you click onto it, its mode will be in normal mode. So that's standard printing. The other mode is duplicate mode, which will create this little buffer zone between the two uh, two separate print beds, at least for the, uh, for the printer. So this little bit in here is the dead zone. Nothing goes on here. Anything you put in there, the printer is going to go, no, it's outside of my print area. And it doesn't look any different from mirror mode either. It's it's just that. So to sort of show what this will look like, I'm going to load up a a little bit more of a, a complex file, just because it'll be easy to show you in mirror mode. So and somewhere down here, actually, Lucky Cat, that one will work. Let's put that in. And we can see that one's that grey white sort of colour, and the other is like a an aquary aquary color. I'm going to call it that. That is to differentiate between the two nozzles being used. So that aqua color is left and that whitey color is right. And you can see that they're the same. Um, you know, they, they, they're identical. It's the same. It's the same model. Anything you do on this model here will happen on this model here. So if we went into say duplicate and added a few copies, we've now got lots of cats. And again, if we went to auto layout, change the layout, everything that we do on one side is mimicked on the other. And let's just undo that right quick. And that's duplicate. It's, that's pretty straightforward. Duplicate is really, really good for um, for printing a great deal of things. So if we hypothetically went, I need, I don't know, that many cats, if it could actually fit on the bed, that is, you could, you could, you know, print a significant amount of cats or whatever you're after quite simply um, so I've used it before for printing car parts in it's in bulk it just sort of halves the uh, production time mirror mode and you can see our left cat has swapped over so what that means is the character on his little plaque here is now going to be complete gibberish and he is holding up his right hand instead of his left Again, anything that we do on um, on here, let's make it more realistic because that looked ridiculous, will be mimicked on the other side just in a mirror. And uh, it's sort of hard to tell you what is the big benefit of this. Um, I think it's, you know, different people will find a different use in it. Again, like, because I do a lot of car parts, I find for me to do like a driver's side and a passenger side part, this works actually quite well if it's, you know, specific and not symmetrical, is I can put it on one side, mirror it onto the other, and know that it's actually still going to do the job just in, you know, the correct orientation when it's done. And I'm going to go back into... I'm going to go back into normal mode because the other thing we want to look at is uh, control A, bye bye pussycat, is dual color mode, which is one of those things that people ask a lot is how, excuse me, how to do it. First off, we need to get a model that is going to work with dual color. Now, there's two ways of doing this. I have an example model which uh, can be found on Thingiverse, which is the, uh, I'm, I I can't pronounce that word properly, so it's the Easter Island Head model, which I believe is actually a, um, a pre-slice model that's actually included with the Creator Pro, that Creator Pro 2, um, which is pretty cool, but you can also download it on Thingiverse. Now you can see that it's loaded up and it's not 
in correct orientation so the way that we fix that is going back to a uh, tutorial number two which was movement is go center on whichever model is not center and now it is where it needs to be so to do dual color we need to select a nozzle so at the moment they are a, they're the same color because we haven't actually told it anything so if we choose let's just click on any of them and yeah, select it first center because I moved it slightly left click right click choose left and no oh wait come on do it there we go and it'll change color to that aqua sort of color so that is now showing you that the extruder is selected for each individual model so our little section will be the right extruder and our left section will be the sorry the, the green color will be the left extruder so obviously just make sure that the uh, colors that you have chosen to, to print with are in the, in the correct side the other thing that goes along with dual color prints is a wiping tower which is this thing underneath the support button and what that is is it cleans out the filament start of a new layer to ensure that fresh material is being used on on the actual print itself so there's two ways of doing that is you know you can do the uh, the wiping tower themselves or if you completely forgot about it there is actually a warning in flash print uh, do, 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 to add a wall and they suggested adding a wall to scrape oozing from the idle extruder in dual printing so that's what that again that's what the wiping tower does so you can go yes um, add a brim and you can see what that looks like uh, when that loads up so yeah look basically the whole point of a wall or a it's not the whole point of a wall but one of the points of a wall and uh, the wiping tower is to clean out the filament and make sure that it's good stuff so you can see that gray stuff is our wall if we got rid of that uh, let's go into wiping tower left one and make sure you choose left and right so the way you do that is um, when you initially click on the support of the wiping tower box it will probably be on a number with the option one you got to click up to go to two it'll generate these two buttons down here left and right you've got differing sizes um, basically you know bigger the size it'll just push out more filament prior to starting on the on the model base size will ensure that it's less likely to tip over and the shell thickness is also in relation to the size up here so if we increase that I've been having a lot of fun uh, if we increase that and moved it here to make it a little bit closer we can see that it's a lot thicker so that'll again push out a significantly greater amount of filament prior to actually starting on the model go back into uh, into our slicer settings because I need to turn off the nope the wall isn't on the broom isn't on I don't want to raft slice and you can see that, that message hasn't popped up this time saying that it needs a, a wall so that is the two options for dual color prints if you go into slice preview on dual color prints as well you can see that the estimated material right and left as well uh, so it'll actually add another another section and it'll also do the same when you're doing duplicate or uh, what was the other one <laughs> duplicate or, or um, mirror mode as well because both are being used although it'll probably be the exact same amount because you know it's the exact same model uh, let us just delete that goodbye and look at the final major part of dual color printing repair that thank you scale it down to something more manageable 50 percent should do it get rid of those wiping towers because they've hung around from the last time okay so the next function for dual uh for idx machines sorry for, the next function for idx machines is dissolvable supports which is a really cool thing uh, with these you know fancy sort of models here is uh, for PLA you'd be using PVA which is water soluble so if you you know stick it in water and let it soak the PVA support should dissolve leaving or should leave no noticeable marks on the model itself uh, I believe another type of support is HIPS HIPS uh, which is commonly used for I think ASA and ABS I haven't got around to using it yet uh, it uses a different liquid to um, 
it is a different liquid to dissolve. I can't remember what it's called. I know it's a lot more expensive than water, and you got to get it from a chemical place, and there's probably probably different things you got to worry about. But that is two of the ones that I know of. So let's just assume that we're using PVA with um, PVA with uh, PLA. Just to keep things nice and simple, we're going to generate some supports and wait for that to happen because this takes a little while. So I'll pause the video and come back in a second. And that was nice and quick. And we've got our supports. So again, we're going to go into our slicer settings. Keep in mind, I am ignoring most things and all the settings I'm using are not in basic mode. They are in expert mode, which is this button down here on the bottom left. And we go to the support page here and we can actually select the extruder auto match or we can choose left or right so if we've got uh, pva not pva we've got pla in our right extruder because that's what the model selected you put your support in your left extruder and that'll only print from there and the other thing you do in a uh, idex machine is actually select what you're doing so you've got hips or pva and that'll actually adjust temperatures as required um, and you can see with certain uh, with certain um, with certain material profiles, is it'll actually change the one that's uh, that is working with. So I just changed to hips in the uh, the support section, the support extruder that we've designated, the left one, and let's change this one to ABS. So hips and PLA are not actually. Uh, compatible at least according to flash print so the temperature difference would be too much and it cause all sorts of issues so now when we go and slice it um, it'll provide again it'll provide the material usage for the uh, for the left hand side as well as the right hand side and when you go to actually print it it will it should come up really quite nice I'd imagine I have you know I've got PVA sitting here that I've never actually used and I probably should I'm explaining it but I haven't done it a bit stupid probably and no, never mind. I thought it would actually tell you, but it doesn't. So it doesn't care about telling you how much material you use for your uh, support um, support usage. Again, flash print, guys, if by any chance you're watching this, that's probably another feature worth requesting is for those of you who actually sell your prints and using PVA, it'd be nice to know how much you're actually using so you can pass on that charge to the customer. And let's leave it at that. That is all the at least off the top of my head, so that's all the major, uh, you know, extra functions that we can use in an IDEX machine. Um, so again, we've gone through, just to make sure I'm ticking it off my own head, we've gone through duplicate, mirror, dual color, and also um, different materials for doing the support structures. So dedicated support extruder. And hopefully, for those of you with the Creator Series, uh, I think even the Dreamers and maybe the Inventors, I honestly don't know much about them, I think they're IDEX as well. This should all work for anything that's a Flash Forge printer with dual print heads. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. Um, or you can, uh, if you haven't already, join up with the Flash Forge support group and ask uh, questions on there, because there's a lot of really talented people. And, and that's IDEX printing. So the next video will be on, okay, it'll be starting on the slicer sections. Uh, we'll be making those videos a lot shorter. So yeah, please stay tuned for them. Thanks for joining me.